The big game Friday night in Mountain Football, Asheville at unbeaten Robertson, but the Cougars may be without a key player. Josh Irby, the Cougars' leading rusher with almost 900 yards, has an injured knee, will be getting an MRI Wednesday, and his coach Danny Wilkins not sure of his availability for the game with the Mac leading Rams. Outlook, though, isn't very good. He hurt that knee last Friday in the first half in that win over McDowell. We'll have more on this game later in the week. But we start with our news, or we go to our News 13 Prep Player of the Week, and the young man we honored it on all sides of the ball for Ashland School. Naeem Swinton, he just ran wild against Raven Gap last Friday. 269 yards rushing, scored four touchdowns in the 47-38 Blues victory. He had TD runs of 67, 56, 14, and two yards. And you know what? He also did it on defense. He had an interception as Asheville School now 2-0 in the conference with that big victory. So we go with Naeem Swinton this week. Congrats. Latest AP prep poll is out. And again, Mountain Representatives uh, only in 1A. That's it. Swain County still number one. Murphy still number three. And Hendersonville is tied for six. Two-time defending Big South champs UNCA not viewed quite as favorably this year at the Big South Conference preseason basketball poll. Dogs with the loss of an all-star backcourt of Prim and Dickey and two starting forwards, Q Jackson and Chris Stevenson, and some key reserves. That's enough for the league's coaches and media to put them third in the New South Division. Charleston Southern picked first, Coastal second, then UNCA, Winthrop, Gardner-Webb, and Presbyterian. Campbell picked to win the North Division. UNCA women were picked 10th. One Bulldog also picked for individual honors. We're talking about explosive senior Jeremy Atkinson, the only UNCA representative in the preseason All-Big South team. The, uh, he's a lone returning starter from last year's Big South Conference Championship team. He led the club in rebounding with 6.6 a game. He also earned a spot on the Big South All-Tournament team. And let's congratulate an area golfer for the shot of a young lifetime. McDowell ninth grader Emma Pyatt in a MAC conference match with Robertson, Inca, North Buckman, Asheville at Silver Creek in Morganton had a hole in one on the 119 yard par three third hole. McDowell finished second behind Robertson. Congratulations and well done to Emma Pyatt. Our team could have used her today too at one of the real fun <laughs> and worthwhile charity golf tournaments on the calendar. The seventh annual Brad Doherty Golf Invitational at Walnut no Cove. Way. Lots of guys playing golf for a good cause on a great day, beautiful course. Win-win for everybody, but the big winner, Eblin Charities, and the bigger winner, youngsters in the area, as the money uh, raised uh, money for children to have hot lunches and breakfasts and snacks. Brad, of course, the local youngster who made good and a guy who always wants to do one thing, and that's give back to the community he grew up in. And we feel like we're really providing something back to a community that's given me so much. Uh, I'm really proud of the efforts of everyone involved in this. And uh, like I say, you go play a little golf and uh, hit some bad shots and have a lot of fun and uh, see some old friends and some people in the community who really stand in strong for this community. And uh, it's just a blessing to be a part of this.